kind of mathematics and like trying to like find a specific frequency for your chakra like everyone's gonna be different so like um like those are some guide points to kind of like feel like okay like we can look at this from that angle or that from that angle and kind of like get to like a, a frequency or tone but um really like uh, you know just kind of tone within yourself you know and kind of uh, get to a point you know where, where you feel like something would really resonate around there and really hits that spot and um so so the next thing i'm going to talk about is, is toning so there's like you know there's finding a frequency of something but there's also like um tuning into something through through toning which it doesn't really have to do with the frequency at which you're toning it but it has to do with the the uh, ratios of harmonics that your mouth is forming when you when you tone the certain syllables and um that's where like sacred like um language like light language comes in like ancient hebrew which is which the dialects like changes as the energy of the sun changes which is like really interesting like it's like abracadabra like i speak i, I create as i speak kind of thing and uh, there's actually like a ancient um arabic a form of ancient arabic where the written language is actually the cymatic geometry of the harmonic of the ratios of harmonics that are coming out of your mouth as you pronunciate the language so like in theory, you could pronounce the language really slowly and loudly on like a table, and that table with sand on it, and the sand would form those words as you speak it. Cool. That's like high tech, that's super high tech stuff, yeah. and that's like one of the like most ancient languages. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. It started at the court. Yeah, yeah, straight up started at the court. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so within that, there's different vowel shapes that go with each chakra, and. Um, uh, the students Jonathan Goldman and a whole bunch of other people, uh, a whole bunch of the scientists and sound humans, like um, agree with this this system, which is uh, like uh uh for the root uh and kind of uh I'm gonna get it. uh 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 for the sacral uh uh oh, oh for the for the solar plexus and it's like really like round and. You know, like a sun, like oh, like as round as you could be, even like 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 deep, you know, like powerhouse, deep, deep throat, and oh, <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's really good for uh, for that. And what that does, you know, like entrainment, you know, like we're like we're uh, uh, making these sounds to like to harmonize with certain things inside our body. That's like just harmonizing with that and giving it more more energy, like through sound, so that it can uh, resonate at a, a louder amplitude makes sense um, cool and um, also Ram Ram is the Sanskrit syllable for mm -hmm. uh, for the solar plexus and uh, a lot of them I mean all, I think all of the Sanskrit syllables have ah and they all like start and stop with different syllables so that's really interesting Ram Ram you know it's pretty powerful R, like a roar it's pretty mm -hmm. cool or you can think of a ram too. Oh, like ram. a ram? Yeah, yeah uh huh. That's yeah, it's pretty strong. Definitely. Um cool. So so yeah, so um do you guys wanna experience like chanting a little or oh toning a little bit? Sure. Mm -hmm. See how see how we feel. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go like oh. O for the solar plexus chakra. Okay. So is it coming from deep within you? Is yeah, yeah. You? Feel yeah. I, I breathe, breathe, breathe into your your diaphragm. From here. Really. Uh huh. Uh, you can yeah. Uh -huh. As as uh, you can feel the energies here. Just like uh, let's just try like going up and down like with our voice, and you can just kind of put your hand on your body and feel like where you feel the resonance. You know like. Uh, 